and welcome to my latest video on the design and build of my 5-axis CNC mill turn machine. This test piece was modelled up with a 40mm square and 40mm diameter to see how well the machine performs. Now we're slightly over on the square by 0 0.05. Uh, that could be the cutter being slightly undersized. In the opposite direction, which is the Y axis, oh, that's even bigger. Well, I'd expect them to be the same, but we're looking about 0.13 bigger in Y than we are in X. Something similar on the diameter. Yeah, the Y axis is definitely bigger than the X axis. This will need looking into. I don't imagine you can see this on camera, but the finish when it's machined in X is worse than it when it's machined in Y. I suspect there's some play in the Y axis which is giving me the difference in size and this slightly chattery finish because the uh, Y axis is moving around slightly. Set a clock up on the Y axis ball nut bracket. You can see it's set on zero. But if I move and pull on the Y axis I can move the ball nut on the ball screw around about 0.13 millimeters. 
this is where my back nash is coming from. I've taken the ball screw assembly off the mill and mounted it on my bench vise with a clock to see if I can find the same backlash. Obviously I can rotate the ball nut to set zero, so I need to be careful trying not to rotate it when pulling it backwards and forwards to replicate the backlash. As you can see, even being careful, I can find the backlash in it. seem to be getting 0 0.05 movement ball nut to ball screw sideways which potentially indicates I would need to have balls that are 0 0.025 thousandths of an inch bigger but that is only a guesstimate I don't know until I actually try. Taken three balls out of the ball screw to see what size they are. I expect normally they're supposed to be eight of an inch. Yeah, it's nowhere near real metric size. Maybe the ball screw is made for nominal eight balls. I've got 0 0.05 movement in my ball nut. I need balls 25 microns or a thousandth of an inch bigger as a nominal guide. I don't know if my way I measured it would give me an accurate size. So I'm going to have to buy some balls, hopefully a few tenths under to a few tenths over the size I, I'm electing to go for and see which fit best. I don't know if there's a a, a really accurate way I can measure the difference I need in a home garage. We need to try and source some balls, creeping up to the size I think I need and past it, so with trial and error I can find out which ones fit best. 